what we're seeing is that the elephants are losing their range and that in order to reduce conflict, we have to know about their movements and their needs. That we're getting from the radio tracking. one stage, we made a rapid movement down to the south, breaking a fence, going down to Solio. My worry is if we cut all the corridors of the elephants, we're going to end up with a really unstable ecological situation. Because elephants need space and we need to understand their movements. And if we understand their movements and their needs, then we can devise a conservation plan. Sometimes to protect a little corridor, is a much more economic way of going about things than to put up a fence and to concentrate elephants just on one side. Uh, you can download these colors through internet, so you don't need to go all the way. Um, you know, to Nairobi, so you can download from our camp. So that's one big relief. So you don't need to circle in the plane, you don't need to travel, so you just need to hook yourself into internet and get the old information, one year data. Just going around to look for elephants, using uh, the GSM colors, um, depending on where they were. So the Samburu still believe that their elephants are part of their uh, livestock and they still have that strong belief you could help them to make the watering points and they're making corridors. If the elephant's been out of range for a long time, those coordinates are stored on the, on the system and then they send all the coordinates in an SMS format to a server, which means that the elephant can be tracked in real time. And the future, both for people and for wildlife, is actually to coexist and to find where means whereby people can benefit from the wildlife. And that's actually happening in northern Kenya today.